Hello everyone, Rainier Games here with yet another Factoria episode. This is then episode 45. And before we get started on the episode, I just want to mention that I did actually a little bit off camera, and that is due to I noticed we got attacked here, and we apparently only had gun turrets. So I ended up placing a few uh, laser turrets alongside the wall just to risk the no, don't risk that we actually um, start this episode off with the, our power line actually being destroyed. So I needed to do that quickly off camera, but uh, just so you know, that's what I've been doing off camera. Uh, so in this episode, I kind of want us to focus more on making uh, more resources as this line here is really, it's not traveling that much iron on this line. So we really want to ramp that up a little bit uh, so we can actually get the research going a little faster. Of course, there isn't much space going on here, but what we could do is we could either extend down here or we could extend outwards. Like so. So I think we're going to be doing at least extending outwards. And then we see what we do. So what I want to do first then is I want to grab these like so. And we're going to be, of course, that belt. Okay, we're going to have it all the way up there. And we're going to have a belt going like so. And then they will be building that. Oh, it's so close to the mall, so they're gonna just bring everything from there. And apparently... How are we for steel? I think we're still doing good there. Um, but we should still have the power lines. These are apparently very tight. There's two in between. Okay. Well. Oh, we've got one. Uh, let us see there. One, two, five. There we got a few more. And let us see, can we fit more in here? Do I have a furnace on me? Probably not. I could just do this though. There. And... Yeah, we can fit one here. And we cannot fit one... Oh, well, we can actually. No, wait. No, it needs to be there. So, we can fit it there, but we can fit one more here. And there, and there. Okay, so that's very good. And then we could just have some inserters. Export. Take. Export. No, take and export. There. And we could do the same. There. And we can do the same over here. Very good. And then we're just going to give power... Like so, and this power is normally, I uh, was just putting it like so. It's a lot of extra wire going on here, but nothing to worry about. And then we want to, of course, run the ore all the way up. There, and we're running it up here. And up there. There we go. Now everything should functioning there. Of course, there's a lot of... Like, we should almost have the faster belt, I can see. The blue belt all over here to actually get this moving faster. Because as you can see here, some places now, the inserters are actually waiting to drop the iron plate. And we don't want that. So we're going to have the blue line at least go from here. Probably even further. But we see if this improves it. So we just take it all the way over here and we're taking the blue line and connecting it with the blue line there. And then we want a blue inserter too. And hopefully that increases it a little bit. And we're going to do the same on the left side here. So we're going to have it come up. Oops. Like so. And it's going to go alongside here. I'm going to have a blue splitter there too. But this first. And I do believe this is blue. No, it isn't. We want blue all the way. So then probably this is red too. Let's see. There, there. And there. Okay, now that it's traveling a lot faster. And of course we wanted the blue inserter. Like so. Oh, splitter, not inserter. 
think that improves it a little bit. Of course, let's see here. I think I made blue all the way here. Very hard to see. Yes, it's blue all the way. And it's clogging up a little. And that is because we don't have blue all the way further up here. So we kind of want to just have the express transport belt all the way. Of course, it is a little on the expensive side, but this line is going to be helping us a lot. There, and we got one more. Well, that ain't much, but at least we have Express all the way over here. And as you can see, the iron line is filled up here now, for now. So that is very good. That's going to help the green line a lot. And of course, it will clog up, and that is because we may, might not be using that much iron, but... At least now we know this line is full. And I kind of just want to have blue inserters here. Just so we have placed it already. And let us see. Now the problem is copper ore. And the reason why is we're not getting that much copper ore. The train just came here again now. So everything is firing up again. And apparently we don't have power over here. That is something we want. Power. And power. And we're kind of having the same clog up system here too. Um, so let us see what we can fix here. Kind of want... Oops. I don't want two. I want splitters going like so. And the same over here. Now they split up like so. And we kind of want to just have blue, 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 and blue. Like so. And we're going to add a few blue belts. At least like so. And that speeds it up a lot. And let us see. Doesn't really matter, but why not? <laughs> Alright, so that speeds it up a lot here. And let's see, it does travel further. Why do I actually have this splitter? I'm not quite sure. Why, why do I have a splitter here? But it's only copper traveling on that line. Huh. Sometimes I ask myself, <laughs> what am I doing? But uh, we're just going to leave it there in case uh, I, uh, I had a reason for it. Maybe we had a split and it went somewhere else. I, I'm, I can't remember now. Okay, we're having a lot more of the copper coil going. And the green wire here oh, circuit is crafting a lot here. And that is then filling up everything. Very good. And then we're hopefully making a lot of blue ones, which then is going to become into yellow science. So I'm hoping everything is... Of course, there's not traveling that much blue ones going on here. But I'm just hoping. <laughs> and we're just going to remove those. And... Yeah, we don't have much yellows going on right now. And that is due to... This one requires green and red. And the red ones aren't crafting that much. They are starting a little bit here now, but... We want them to craft even more though. Because we want the artillery. And I'm just gonna check on the pollution here. And let us see... Yeah, there is spider spawners consuming our pollution. Which is then gonna send attacks on us. Which is not nice. And how are we for iron? It's shrimping. And we really need this spot here. I can't see any biter spawners around. So we should actually just set up a base there actually. And I want to figure out where is my tank. I think I parked it here. Yeah. Okay. So we should set up a new mine. So whenever that one is depleted. We can actually just move straight over to the next one. Without worrying about shortage of iron ore. So, we're gonna see here. Um, 
We're gonna need some miners, of course. And we're gonna need a few robot ports, sure. Uh, walls we have plenty of. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of laser turrets because I want to defend it from the start. So we're gonna head on over to the mall and see if we have crafted some laser turrets. Let's see, it should be down here. Walk in between. I'm just gonna take all 50. Because you can never have enough turrets. That's my mo motto. <laughs> um, and let's see. Yeah, I think we have a few rails here, but I would like to just have some more actually. So we're running over here. And all the way. Taking a little detour and over here. And we're taking at least two stacks and our inventory is full. Great. Logistics. Why do I have so much crap on me? <laughs> I have a lot of red ones. And blue ones. And yeah, we need to figure out a way. So every time I have crap on me or crap. Um, uh, trash on me. I, it will be put back into the system and actually used. Compared to just stored. So that is something we want to put, put up to. But everything has its time. And let us see. I think we are well defended all over. I'm just a little worried about this spot. This is... Okay, I did put some lasers here too. And apparently we're getting some enemies here. Um, I'm just going to make a wall. Uh, because that ain't good. When I see, I look at it, that could potentially destroy our base because we don't have any internal defense. So if they were to break through, uh, they would uh, get easy access without being shot at. <laughs> like all over here, there's a little line going here, but no, like if they come here, there would be nothing to stop them. So we should have some internal laser turrets just to have a little fire firepower. And those are really, really close. Yeah, I want that artillery and I want it now. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. I want to deactivate uh, the um, robot port. The personal robot port. And we're going to go backwards. Ammo is okay. And the robot really wants to collect our stuff, but... Nothing to worry about. Uh, I did make miners though. So we're just using the rest of it to make some miners. Gonna drive over the train line hoping nothing hits me. And hoping I'm not hitting the power lines. Let's see. Driving over here. And what is going on up here? Up here. Oh, it's just the red dots I saw on the map is the laser turrets. I just want to make sure that we actually are mining every single spot on this mine. Which we apparently aren't. Um, so we want to mine that spot there. Everything else should be working. Many of them have already depleted. There. And let us see... You guys have depleted too. Like so. And this line here is almost depleted too. There. So eventually when this is depleted we would take all the laser turrets and stuff away. And it would just be an open space again. Okay. And I would want to close it off. Like so. And we're jumping into our tank. And driving down here. To the next iron deposit. And when we have artillery and stuff, it's going to be a lot nicer actually clearing out biters and getting to new resources and stuff. Okay, here we can actually use some of the hillsides. So we don't need to build walls. So that is nice. But first, I want to figure out where do, should we come with the train line. Just maybe just have it here. Because then we can just have a wall here instead. Because this line over here is defended. And yeah, we see how we put it up. So we're gonna see here, we're gonna have the train line come down here. It's gonna come 
all the way over like so. I'm just gonna activate my robot line and they can just build for me. Okay, so we just going all the way as straight as possible and we want to I want to go down. Down here and then we're gonna go there and we're gonna connect it like so. Like so, and my robots will eventually build everything. Hopefully, that's the plan at least. Maybe build a few more. I think they don't want to go out and work. <laughs> um, what are you guys doing? And we're under attack. But I'm not too scared here though. Uh, the only thing that could scare me is the power shortage. I had an attack going on here too, and I'm glad I put some laser turrets. Of course, it's very close to actually not making it, but we have robots coming and repairing them, so I'm, I'm not too worried. But the, the biters are really closing in though. So I'm actually scared of this position here. Because if this one goes, we only have power more or less only in the daytime. And that wouldn't be good. So that is something I want to defend too. But one thing at a time. <laughs> Have they built the train line here? Yeah, they're working on it at least. And my robots will build the rest here. If I just drive a little slow. So I'm too lazy to build it myself. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, they want to get some more resources. There, and... Dun -dun 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 -dun. There, I think. Now we're done. Alright, very good. Oh, there's still a few here, but we're gonna fix that. Like so. And let us see then. I want to put up defenses and stuff first. So I'm gonna run a double wall. Oh no. No. Okay, uh, don't use your. Um, Robots to make the close to the fence because then they're just gonna use your cliff expo explosives to just blow off the cliff, and that we don't want. We wanted to use the cliff, for God's sake. And let us see. We're gonna run. Yeah. Okay. That wasn't that pretty, but a li little tick wall here. <laughs> Let's see. They shouldn't be able to come through any anything over here. So we're just going to run a straight wall all across here. And it's going to be a double wall, at least. And we're being attacked somewhere and yeah, all good here. Like so. And then, of course, Using the cliffs ends up us almost having a bigger area here, though. I uh, can go across like this, just making sure it's at least blocked in, and we're just going another line, like so. And of course, over the train line, and this could just go. No way. We actually want to be able to put some turrets here too. Maybe an overkill of defense here, but I like having it defended. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna put it all the way down there. Come on. Okay, we're just doing this ourselves. And all the way to the sea. And then this one too, all the way. And we're just out of um, wall here. So we're just gonna do that. And can I even make gates then? I can. Okay, oh, we actually have four gates, so nothing to worry about there. Okay, so now this one is completely sealed in. I think. <laughs> and we're gonna have turrets. 
for each and every uh, block here. Uh, like so, we're gonna have some turrets and you're just gonna do this. I'm not quite sure if I brought enough turrets, but uh, I guess we're gonna figure out. <laughs> Just gonna add a little extra there. And over here, I think I should just go and manually place them again. So, there. 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 Overkill, yes, for sure. But I don't mind. Could be, maybe I have enough birds, actually. Oops, that was... I don't want you there, I want it to be one apart. Like so, and then we're just gonna have a few here too. We should have a few more here due to um, um, a few turrets could end up just getting um, overwhelmed by um, the spitters. So there should be at least a lot of turrets helping each other. And we could just place the last one here. There. And then it's all about giving them power. And... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I cancel that? How do I cancel stuff? How do I cancel not destroying it? Because if I make this into a logistic area now, then, then suddenly they're going to blow up that one. Um... Control cancel? Nope. This is... Okay, I apparently haven't... Um, undo. Okay, I can't apparently figure out how <laughs> you cancel one. Um, because normally you just right-click, but apparently you can't right-click this one. Unless you... Okay, that's annoying. Annoying for sure. Well, as long as we don't make it for board there, it should be fine. <laughs> okay, uh, let us see. We want to put everything with electricity. And I don't want to run the line too close to the cliff. Just in case they were to attack. And we're just running the line here. Oh, wait. I can have a spacious, but that doesn't mean uh, all of them get covered by power then. And we have the same problem here. Oh, come on. Blueprint. Cancel stuff. Upgrade planner. Oh, no. What did I do? <laughs> Okay, I need to figure out that. And if you know you're that watching, uh, oh yeah, we have the same problem here too, darn it. If you know how to cancel a cliff explosion action, then uh, please let me know. Because I don't want to blow it up. And we're running it all the way down there. And we're running the power line over here. Like so. And there, and there, and there, and there, and then lastly over here. Then we can just run it up, and up. And let's see, just all the way over there. And then we're just going to connect the two so they have a connection going all over. Like so. Not the prettiest, but it's got, it's going to work and it's going to keep us defended. And then I kind of want to have the same loading system as here, even though this is very, very messy. But at least we're going to have these. Oh, didn't I select everything? 
apparently not. So we're gonna have that. And we're gonna turn it around. And of course we should place down a train station first. So we actually see where the cars are coming. And let's see, it's gonna come this way, yes. So there. And if we do that, they're gonna come like so. So we should have it there. All right, very good. And we should just give them some power too. One there and one there. Okay, and then uh, I kind of want to get the tank out. <laughs> that one I didn't think of. I'm gonna turn off the robot port for a few seconds. Can I drive out? I'm driving very straight. Thank you. Okay, we turn them on again. And let us see. We're gonna put the power line there. Oops. Going too fast. That's it. Um Go there, and we hold it in, and we're just driving straight. And we're gonna have it down here. And we're continuing, and we can just place it here, like so. And that place is now powered, very good. And let us see, I want to go over here. And this is kinda gonna be the main road, so we're not gonna have this one stop, but we're gonna have this line here stop if there were to be anything like so okay and something got damaged well, hopefully nothing got destroyed and then let's see I kind of want our radar over there too so we just can uh, apparently we don't have enough resources for it hooray can some logistic robots come with some iron plates for me, please? Oh no. That's the standard. I have to destroy stuff. Um, one, two. I'm just having a little door there. <laughs> Even though the door was over there. Uh, let us see. Okay, you wanna grab my garbage? And we're heading down here. Just getting a lot of stuff. Now I can make a radar. Very nice. And I wonder... Yeah, this one is soon full. So after the artillery, we'll, we want to maybe get the rocket si uh, silo uh, researching again. But one thing at a time. And let us see... Yeah, because this one is shrimping. This one is good for a while. Really terrified about the coal. <laughs> uh, how are we actually for coal? I think we are actually very good when it comes to coal. And the main reason is we have the buffer here. And also um, we have a lot of solar going on now. Not too much, but a little bit. And that does so. We're actually making a lot of solar power. Would actually be nice that in the daytime that the steam engines aren't even running at all. So we would actually just make a lot more solar panel and then eventually in daytime we don't use any coal when it comes to power. Which actually would be very, very nice. Uh, we could perhaps build some more. Yeah, we're going to do that soon. Maybe not in this episode, but we should maybe connect walls and so on and just use all the dead space for power. Oh wait, we actually have here. Where we could actually put down some power solar panels. And let us see. Is this the only connection going on? No. We want to put that line this way instead. And then we want to destroy you, 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 and you. All right. And let us see, they are connecting in another way, yeah? They're connecting up here. So then we could just place a few solar panels here instead. 
Okay, I can't place it there. Do two, I forgot to take that one. There. Okay, and then I wanted to copy this. Copy it. And how is it ish? A tree. So it should be like this. And we want to place a few of these just down here. I want to remove this. And let us see. We want it there. And of course, the copper line is a little in the way, but that doesn't matter. I'm just placing this, and then we can always just remove it later on. But this is just so we have some solar panels all over this, all over the place. And let us see. Hmm. If I could place this one too, and no, it doesn't really matter. At least we're using some of the space here for some solar for now, and then we could just remove it later on. Very good. Okay, and then the last step is to just build the miners here and uh, uh, bench. I don't think we're going to have any um, extra train here because we're just going to relay this train over to this one instead when this one is done. Because it will be done very soon. So we're just going to jump in our train and be finished with that. And our train, I mean our tank. So let us see here. And... Why do, don't you have power, little laser turret? <laughs> of course, our laser turret line isn't pretty and very bulky and maybe weaker at some points than others, but it's just mainly to just have the power line going there. Okay, and we're driving back here and we're just going to park our tank outside. And the reason why we put defenses here is in case spiders were suddenly to come here and then up. So we just have defenses all over. Okay, and let us see then. Apparently they wanted to build some stuff. And we're going to put a lot of miners. And I kind of want to have this power line away from the ore. And we're going to take our... Um, there they are. Miners, and we're just gonna make a line all the way, and we're gonna make a line again. Just be like so, then one in between, and then the line yet again. And we're just gonna continue this. Just be like so. This one is probably going to pull a lot of power. And we want to just select. Of course, I could just copy paste, but I don't want to risk destroying the cliffs, more cliffs. Then we're running this up like so. And this can go there. And we kind of want that one, so I'm just going to cut that power line and build it there instead. And then we want the last parts here too. Of course now it's a little tight here, but I'm going to remove that laser turret. There, and we want this line too, as we want as much iron as possible. There, and I'm just going to put this laser turret there instead. And let us see then how we want to put this together. Oh, I went two in between here. Well, it doesn't really, really matter that much. So we want to put red ones. I think that's good enough. So we're just going to put red ones. And oops. No, don't, not that way. And they're going to go that way, but first I just want to put up all of these. And then we're just making this line. And 
this line. Of course, I'm not too worried if that everything get built. This is just to set it up. And we're having this line. And then lastly, this line. I'm just combining the, those two together. So then, in a way, we have one, two, three, four, five lines. And how we want to combine these is a good question. I kind of want to, let's see, have them come into a, these two come into a splitter. And these two come into a splitter. So we have it like that. And we have it like this. And it's going to come a split again here and here. And then a split here. As they will be going like so. Oops. And like so. And I'm just going to copy that. There. And then. Uh, doesn't matter. I can just take that. This. And like so. And this one will go down. And down like so. And then this one will go over here. And down like so. And what I kind of want then. Would actually be nice. Hmm. What if we did this. And we did this. Because then this line will fill up. Hmm. Could do this. <laughs> At least they reach it. But I'm not quite sure if that would actually do anything. Did it actually do anything different? And this one is under attack. And they take a lot of damage now though. Um, I don't think that did anything. Hmm. No, we're just gonna keep it like that. Of course, you could have had it split and then maybe go here and maybe go there, but I, I don't worry too much. The train will eventually move if it's nothing going on. So we're just gonna rename this one as Iron. Uh, what do we call the other one? I, thought, I don't think we renamed it. So we're iron or mining. And we're just going to go hashtag. We're just going to go hashtag two. Just so we remember it. And we're just going to make this one all blue. There. And then the last thing we need is we need to give them all power. Of course, I could just have done that. And... Then we're going to have power going in between here. And then the same over here. There and just going to have power there too. Like so and like so. Like so, I think that should do it. And I see you just have it kind of symmetrical. I think that took all of them, yes. Oops. I didn't want you there. Well, doesn't matter. This one was apparently a little offline anyway. Um, does matter. There. Now we have covered most of it. And... Why? Oh, they don't have steel. Um, chests. So that is something we want to craft. So I could just buffer up a little bit because this will be making pollution too but yeah pollution is everywhere right now <laughs> so uh, i think maybe in the next episode we should defend this one too because i can swear there is probably some biters lurking around uh we're gonna put the radar there so now we have access to look around here too and i want to see how are we doing for power yeah that ain't good they are working at max, and they can just make 36, it seems like. At least I think they're working on max. Yeah, they're working on max. 
So, uh, power... Okay, why is there... Seems like we're not producing that much water, so we might need to put some more water in. I can see the water pipes are struggling. Um, I have a feeling we don't making these. Could just make one there. I'm not quite sure if the pipes could take it. But we have that. Okay, and the very, very last thing I want to do before we wrap up the episode is I want to add this one to a robot port. Seems like we might need to make two. And what I know is going to happen when we connect these now is just going to come some stupid robots blowing up our cliffs. And that is something we need to fix and put more walls, which is just great. But that's what you get when you are <laughs> uh, placing wrongly and don't know the controls. <laughs> okay, and we're just going down here. I just want to run this one alongside a water line. I think actually these would connect. And we don't really need to defend them because it's so close to the water. So I don't think we would ever get attacked. But... Don't trust me on that one. Because now I can see we could just have run the power line up here. And that would be easier. But you learn as you go, I guess. And I'm just going to place this one. I don't care if there's a robot on the way. There. And actually, I want to just add a power line there. And that is just due to if this breaks... We have a reserve power line going this way, which is very, very nice. So there, now this one should be our operational and they will come up with um, miners. I, I'm not quite sure actually if we have miners in the mall, because if we don't, I want to do that. Okay, we're going to do that and then we're wrapping up the episode here. So we're just jumping in our tank, trying to drive as good as we can. And we're going to drive into the base, but not too far because there's solar panels. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I had to destroy something. There. Of course. Or damage something, at least. And let us see. We're just running to the mall. Run. I should almost have faster legs and stuff, so we actually move faster. But I haven't researched that one. It's nice to see we're close, slowly getting to the artillery. I really, really want it. Running. <gasps> oh, there it happened. There it happened. I knew it would happen eventually, and uh, it happened. And it, it, it literally stopped my heart. <laughs> oh, the trains are traveling so fast. I wish that you could make some kind of bridge. Oh, my heart is pounding. That was something out of... Yeah. That was, yeah. <laughs> okay, we want to grab our stuff. Uh, so I'm not quite sure if it gets destroyed if it stays on the train line for too long. Oh, yeah, yeah. And this is why I should have some kind of train stop. Because that ain't good. Uh, we're going to grab our body. And our inventory is full. And I have a feeling that is due to... Something. A pistol. I don't think that does anything. Um, apparently this one was on us. And apparently we should just trash some of the stuff to get our last stuff. And apparently I killed the line here. There. Hopefully that doesn't screw up anything. Okay, we're alive again. <laughs> okay, and... Let us see. We wanted to go quickly on the mall and just make a miner. So I kind of want the miner just to be here. And we're going to have it like so. There's no need to have more than a stack. Can I press on there? Yes. So it's going to need iron. Um, iron plates. It's going to need gears, it seems like, if I remember correctly. Oops, I forgot to press accept. And copper. No, uh, the green one, apparently. 
So we're just gonna take the green one. Like so. And there's no need to have too many. There. So that time we'll be crafting that. And we're just gonna take so it accepts and puts back. Alright, very, very good. So there we got that. We got to die in the episode and we got to set up a new mine here. So when this one is depleted, we have this one running. And I just saw quickly here, we should just hook this one up with power. There, so there we'll fix that. And then this place will be repaired if we're so be under attack. But yeah, I think we're gonna wrap up the episode then guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, if you stick to the end of the video, you're just awesome and it helps the channel out so, so much. So it's a huge thank you to you guys. And until next time, stay safe, guys, and don't get ridden over by train. And yeah, I lost it because I said something new now. Like I'm, I'm very, I'm very like I need to say it in a line or else I forget. <laughs> but yeah, stay safe, guys, and bye. How can I forget to say bye? <laughs>